Welcome to this video, where I'll show you how to root a Samsung phone without using a PC. Yes, you heard that right. This is the only way to root your Samsung phone without a computer. Recently, I installed Windows 11 on my phone, and to my surprise, it worked flawlessly. After setting up Windows on my device, I thought, why not use this version of Windows to root my Samsung phone? And guess what? It worked. Note. This method is based on my personal experience and may not work for everyone. However, it's an interesting approach to rooting a Samsung phone and installing TWRP without using a PC. If you're curious and willing to experiment, keep watching. Now let's dive right into the process of rooting your Samsung phone, step by step. Unlocking the bootloader, installing TWRP recovery, and rooting any Samsung device in a simple step-by-step -step way. This process can open up a whole world of customizations and control over your device. This video is divided into three main sections. First, we'll unlock the bootloader. Next, we'll install TWRP recovery, and finally, we'll root any Samsung device in a straightforward way. Before we begin, here's a quick but essential disclaimer. Rooting your phone will erase all your data, so be sure to back up everything you need before starting. Additionally, rooting will void your warranty, and it will permanently disable Knox security features on your device. Proceed only if you're comfortable with these risks. For this example, I'm using the Samsung S23 running Android 14, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to root any Samsung device with ease. My device is running on latest update available, also the most recent security patch. First, we need to enable developer options on the device. To do this, tap several times on the build number until developer options are unlocked. You'll find this option in the device settings just below about phone. Now, Toggle OEM Unlocking. If this option doesn't appear on your device, it's likely because some US carriers remove the OEM Unlock option. Check the video description for ways to enable it. After enabling OEM Unlocking, also enable USB Debugging. With both options enabled, we're ready to unlock the bootloader. Connect your phone to Windows Phone via USB and boot the device into download mode. To do this, restart your phone by holding the volume down and power buttons. When the screen goes blank, quickly press both volume keys, which will take you into download mode. I don't know why Samsung dims brightness on this screen. Once in download mode, press and hold the volume up button to unlock the bootloader. A warning will appear, noting that unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty and erase all data. Confirm by pressing volume up again. After this, you may see some warnings while your device reboots this is normal. Bypass by pressing power button. Note that your phone will perform a factory reset during this process. Once the phone reboots, do not set it up just yet. Instead, reboot the device into download mode again, as we did before. Press volume button to enter in download mode. Here you'll see that the FRP lock status is off, meaning your bootloader is now unlocked. I have connected my Samsung phone to a Windows phone. On my Windows phone, I have already downloaded all the necessary files for rooting, such as USB drivers, TWRP recovery, the VB meta file, Magisk, and Odin. I will provide the download links for these files in the video description. Sorry for the poor camera quality, I don't have a dedicated camera, so I am recording this video using my iPad. To root your Samsung phone, first open Odin on your Windows phone. 
Inside Odin, select the TWRP recovery file in the AP slot and the VB meta file in the user set slot. If you see the blue slot in Odin, it means your phone is successfully connected. Make sure to uncheck the auto reboot option in Odin settings. Once everything is set up, click the start button to flash TWRP onto your Samsung phone. As you can see, TWRP is now flashing on my Samsung phone using the Windows phone. Once the flashing process is complete, reboot your phone into TWRP recovery mode. To do this, hold the volume down and power buttons. When the screen goes blank, quickly release the volume down button and press the volume up and power buttons together. This will boot the phone into recovery mode. Now that we have successfully booted into TWRP, next step is to transfer the Magix APK file to your Samsung phone. This version of Windows 11 has a brightness bug that causes the screen to dim automatically after some time. If you can see, I am transferring the Magix file to my phone using TWRP. Once the transfer is complete, locate the Magisk file in TWRP and install it as a zip. If your phone's storage doesn't show up, it means your data is encrypted. In that case, you'll need to sideload Magix using ADB. Now that Magix is installed, reboot your phone. After the reboot, you will see the Magisk placeholder app on your phone. Open it and it will automatically download the latest Magisk app from the server. Once the download is complete, open the Magisk app again. If the app asks for additional setup, click OK, then select Direct Install. After that, reboot your device again. Once your phone restarts, open the Magix gap. And there you go. Your phone is now successfully rooted without the need for a PC. Let's verify the root status using the Root Checker app. And yes, my phone is rooty. That's it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to check out my Windows on Phone video and the Root Any Device playlist to learn more about rooting your phone. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.